This is another tutorial in our series on the Infinity Analyze Microscopy Package. In this session, we look at the dynamic zoom function added to Infinity Analyze with the release of version 6.0.0. In this tutorial, we'll go over the following steps. Where to locate the zoom control, using the zoom control on the live preview and on captured images, how to set commonly used zoom levels, and how the zoom works while taking measurements. We'll begin by locating the zoom control. If your application looks similar to this, you're probably operating in simple mode. In this example, I have the status bar showing at the bottom of the display. The status bar is enabled from the view menu. Toolbars and auxiliary windows can be used to get to the toolbars and turn on the standard toolbar, and that's where we'll locate the zoom control. If you haven't tried it before, with release 6.0.0, we've put the settings on the help dialog to allow you to control the user interface. So now you can toggle the individual items on and off and see their impact immediately. With the zoom control available in our toolbar, you can simply click on the zoom control and move it to the right to increase the zoom level, move it to the left to decrease the zoom level. By using this drop-down box, you can select the zoom levels that you've previously chosen during other sessions or earlier in this session. You can also use the Fit to Window icon, which zooms the window to a level where the entire field of view fits in the active window. If your computer mouse is equipped with a scroll wheel, you can use it to zoom in or zoom out on whatever image has the most focus at the given time. The zoom function also works on captured images. If I click the capture button, we get a captured image the same as our live preview. If I pan or move the live preview, the captured image remains intact. The zoom function will take effect on whichever image has the focus. So clicking in the title bar gives an image the focus and now selecting the zoom level. If there's a particular zoom level that you want to go to, simply type the numerical value in and hit the enter key and the image zooms to that percentage. You can see down in the status bar here it indicates we're at a 75 percent zoom level. If you take measurements on your image, assuming that you have a calibrated image. Here I've got a length of about 38 microns and if I change the zoom level and take another measurement I'll go in the opposite direction and you can see that the calibration and measurements honor the zoom level that you're at so you can take your measurements at whatever zoom level you're comfortable with. And that concludes our video tutorial on the new zoom function. Be sure to check out the other video tutorials in the series.